Hello, my name is Dan, and welcome to my thoughts on Thundercats Roar. So this will be a quick review for y'all, so, um, let's get to it. Um, first things first, the animation is terrible. Um, they have, like, the, yeah, I'm starting off with a negative, don't be surprised. They have, like, tiny hand syndrome, which is annoying. I hate tiny hand syndrome. Um, and the animation just looks like crap. Like, it's well-lit crap, but it looks like crap. Um, you would be better off watching the original Thundercats right here. Right? Or watching the 2011 Thundercats. Right. So go <clears throat> find those. I will leave a link in the description below. Find those because you'll be better off watching them. So. So. <clears throat> basically, it's the story of Exodus. Thundercats <clears throat> um, or Thundera blows up. Thundercats end up on third earth. And the mutants follow from Plundar. And immediately, that's where the issues start. Um, you know, because they just do a very quick intro, and then, um, and then, um, <clears throat> what's the name? Uh, <clears throat> and then, um, you know, the, the wise old sage character. You know, he shows up and is like, Oh yeah, hi, I'm dead. Um, I'm, no, or, I was on Thundera when it exploded, and now I'm dead. Or, now I'm ghost. And, you know, it's just like, Wait, what? That's how you're gonna do? Okay. But then, like, this show is very anti-male. I, I, I realize that somebody else said this already. You know, um, one of the few people who've, back, who've, you know, sat down and reviewed it, uh, you know, so far, have already said this, but, like, yeah, this show is very anti-male. And it's not good. Um, like, Lionel is an idiot. Tigra, Jaga, that's his name. The old guy is Jaga. Um, Lionel is an idiot. Um, Tigra is an idiot. Panthro really isn't an idiot. Like, Panthro... But inherently, because of the way that they're writing this show, everyone's an idiot. And, like... Uh, and Chi and Chitara is like, um, you know, she's like, well, how, you know, I'm the coolest Thundercat. How do I be the coolest Thundercat if there are no fans? Because, you know, they think Third Earth is deserted. And it's just like, what makes you the coolest Thundercat? Like, I know why. Classic. Cheetah, and, you know, 2011, Cheetah, or Chitara, I know, like, they're cool, but what makes her cool? Because, you know, she just kind of has, like, a, she has, like, a dumb pixie cut, and, you know, she has her, her pixie cut, and she just looks odd and janky, but that's because of the rain style, and that's not, and don't try to make that offensive to women. Also, the trigger warning for people who are um, easily four minutes and trigger warning for those people who are easily offended. Probably should have started with that. Well, I'll just, I'll just try not to swear. Maybe that'll save me. Um, so, basically... Not really a good show. Um, 
So, the lion was like, oh, look, it, you know, I have the new planet I have to go explore. And he's like, and, um, uh, and Tigra is like, no, you can't explore. Nope, don't go exploring because you're the leader and you need to, and it's like, even in this one, he's kind of, in classic Thundercats, he was like, oh, you know, let, let's go explore. Let's go explore this strange new world. And they were very supportive. He sort of learned along the way. I'm only six episodes in, but, like, he learned along the way. In the 2011 Thundercats, he learned along the way. He, he was... He doesn't really learn anything except, oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong for wanting to do something. Because, you know, you think, you think the reason that they would be like, no, don't go and do anything else other than help us because, you know, we, you're our leader, we need you to lead. But then they run into the Burbills, and they ruin the Burbills, but then they run into the Burbills, who are these little bear characters. Um, they're these robotic bears. And they're like, oh, well, we build things fast. And they just, like that, build um, the lair, the classic lair. And it's like, okay... And, um, Wily Kit and Wily Cat are kind of in the show, but they're idiots, too. So, like, they're just all idiots. And I didn't laugh at a single joke. In this whole show, I just sat there like, what the hell am I watching? And it's just like, seriously, what am I watching right now? Because... You know, I'm not being like a sissy, but like, really, what am I watching? And <clears throat> look, I'm just gonna get this out of the way, kind of. Not this isn't a good show. Go, go watch something else, cause this is just a waste of your time. Um, it's not that. It's not well animated, not well acted. The, the voices are terrible in the show. Um, and like, they almost don't, none of them have personalities. Except, um, except two of them are flat out idiots. Um, two of them are moronic children. One of them's kind of a douche, and the other is kind of generically the, I guess, the, the black guy who fixes things. Like, I don't really know what his character is. Like, like Panthro in this, in this show, in Roar, I don't know what Panthro's character is, because... We just sort of get him firsthand, and he has really no character. None of these characters have characters, except they're all some form of idiots. And you know, just don't, just don't waste your time on the show. Um, I mean, it's on CartoonNetwork.com to watch for free, but you know, don't 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 waste your time with it. Um. This is going to be my first zero out of, um, zero out of four. And, um, there's also this dumb joke of, like, if you say Mamra's name, you get executed immediately. I wonder how long they're going to keep that. Because that's so stupid. Like, how, how, how do you talk, how's this show going to function if you can't say Mamra's name? But whatever. Um, zero out of four. Remember, God, he made you special, just like the people who made this show. They're special, but they're a different kind of special. God made you special, and he loves you very much. Bye.